that car's not going back to our house. It's got a tracker in there with the cell phone. It's got a meth pipe in there. It's not coming back to my house. They look like boys. No, the one in the hoodie with his hood on looks like a boy. That one is definitely shorter than him yeah. by a lot. Because that's the same guy that was seen at 5 something a.m. Because he has a hoodie on and a white, he has a he's white. looking for more cars? No, I think he, maybe he lives here. Maybe they went to drop off the AirPods. Maybe he was gonna go back and get them. I, it didn't look like that, that guy was in my car. It was like two girls. We decided to just let- Eat our feelings away. That's what I'm doing. Well, we are going you. to get food. Yeah, that's what we do. Um, but we decided to just let, let it happen. We're gonna submit all the stuff, all the uh, evidence from our cameras, from the neighborhood's cameras, um, from to the, the neighbor's cameras. We're gonna submit it all to the police and let them figure it out. Like I said, I, I feel like we've given them so much great content to, to, to locate who this is and do something. Will they? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out. You can't mess with Mama J when she wants her food, man. <laughs> Be lining straight to the restaurant. Move out the way. All right, all right, bye. I don't know where you're at. What am I, what is me calling the cops gonna do? Royal was at the gas station and he's behind his car right now. It's 100% the car because it's... Okay, he's... I think they're actually on the freeway now. Okay, have him call California Highway Patrol. I can give you their number if you like to Yes, please. Yeah, if you could give me that number, that would be great. Okay, are you ready for it? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. He just got a phone call from Royal at lunch saying he's behind the car at a gas station. Royal was with his friend getting gas and sure enough, like he said, there's no gas so they are literally getting gas in front of him. So I'm on my way to Royal's location to confront these people as well as to make sure Royal doesn't do anything crazy as well as to hopefully meet the police who are coming. Weeks have passed since there's been any update with Royal's car. And he just called me, he's at the gym and he swears he sees the car. So Royal's calling the cops. I'm on my way to the gym to make sure Royal okay, nothing happens. This is just craziness. Whoever took this car, if this is in fact Royal's car, is very brave. To be driving it at the local gym, very brave. Can you believe this? Dude, I, I know, that's crazy. That's, it's actually really weird and suspicious. Like that's, I don't know. I don't know, man, that's crazy. It's all the same stuff. That's your and car. then when I hit the front gate, the, the brown mark is still there. When I propped up the, the car to change my tire and dented the fender, that's still there. My Kotsky sticker is still there. Literally, the chipped plastic dip on the front is still there. I really, I don't know if there's like a legal thing where they can't tell me like who stole it once they find him, but I really want to know if I know him. The cop is looking at the license plate. So we just got confirmation it's the right car. So I don't know how long the car has been there. We're in a shopping center. 
and I don't know if someone's just dropped it off here, left it here, or someone's working around here. Either way, it's just, um, it's kind of crazy. These are all my stickers that are on there. Wow. And then they didn't take this one off. So that's how I know for a fact it's mine. And yeah, everything's chrome, uh, chrome deleted. So like on a normal Honda, this is all like chrome, but I painted it black. So it's easy to like, even if they changed everything, this is hard to get off. I never thought that on my way to the gym to get a workout, I'd see my stolen car just parked in a random parking lot. I don't know if you've ever had anything stolen from you, especially a car, but something of that value, especially to, to me, was, was hard to watch it just sitting there and it's the same car, but it's not. It's, you know, missing two wheels, got some extra damage and I was just going through a lot of trying to open the car, see if I had anything in there that I could still retrieve, whether that be my bowling shoes, a bowling ball. I don't know, just my mind was racing at this point. All right, so here's the situation. The cop wants us to pay for a locksmith to open the car so that they can start looking into the car to see if there's any DNA or any evidence to catch the burglar in their city. And Royal is ready to call the, the locksmith and pay the couple hundreds. I'm not really for that. I feel they should be able to open and get in the car or at least have a discounted rate to someone they know or dis, a locksmith or have the ability to get in the car. Why should Royal, myself, us pay several hundred dollars for helping them find do their job? Am I wrong? Leave that in the comments because I am honestly confused and I'm about to get into it with, I'm not going to jail, so don't worry about that. Yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. If, if they can't get here within the hour, I'll call you back. Do you know if uh, this frame is yours? Uh, Los Angeles Honda? No. no. We, we got it the. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, in terms of theft of the plates, do you care about that at all or do you just want that documentation just so your name's covered? Um. Alright, so here's the update. Triple A's here to open the car. So we're finally going to get into the car to see if there's any evidence of who was using the car. But see this car right here in the all black right there? They've been watching us for 45 minutes, so I'm thinking they have something to do with this car. A meth pipe? A meth pipe was found in Royal's car? This is getting crazier every minute. And at this point, I bet you Royal doesn't even want the car back. I gotta say, this cop, this guy right here, he was on my last nerve to start the whole night. Really, because he wouldn't help us get the car open. But once we got it open, he turned into Inspector Gadget. <laughs> no joke, he took his job seriously. I have to be honest, I grew to like him, a lot. Any strap of evidence he can find, and it was a lot, he was putting into that police database. I swear, if we had more like him from the beginning, we wouldn't even be here. The thieves would have been caught weeks ago. This guy was the real deal. That car. That car is suspicious to me. I feel it has something to do with this whole thing. He was sitting there for over an hour watching us, and it wasn't until my guy started going through everything did he finally leave. That car's not going back to our house. It's got a tracker in there with the cell phone. It's got a meth pipe in there. It's not coming back to my house. Cell phone in there? Yeah, he just found the cell phone, broken cell phone. Narcan, and what's that for? Uh, if you overdose, you, put, you just take a spray of it in your nose, it brings you back to life. This is an Apple AirTag. Um, I'm just gonna put it inside the door. Like I'm gonna open the door up and put it inside there so they won't find it. We found Royal's car and they pulled 
up like an hour later. So let me tell you what's happening. It's a big development. We know these two cops. They played sports with Lexi and Lee. It's a small world. They played basketball with them uh, here in Corona. And they're the ones who are on duty to help us figure out who stole the car. It's a small world. And what's crazy is I remember one of them from when she was a little girl. I used to coach her. She used to wear glasses. She was really good too. Sweet, sweet, sweet girl and sweet family. So it's just a crazy night. You never know how this is all going to end. What's that? All the oil is everywhere. The oil is everywhere? Yep. They hit a red curb. What's that football? Is that something from the car? Yeah. Any final words you have? For the international viewers, uh, we got burgers over you and that's really it. <laughs> Another adventure in my life, but it seems like we had the resolution. Royal is going to follow the tow truck to make sure the car gets to where it's supposed to be for the night. Hopefully whoever stole the car isn't also falling in the car and gonna take it again. But either way, this is the right thing to do and I'm going to sleep. Good night. To conclude my experience with this whole Grand Theft Auto fiasco, it was pretty difficult. It was one of the more difficult things I had to go through. I'm um, just waking up one morning and, you know, going out to get, to, to get breakfast and your car's not there. It's pretty shocking. And then all the drama and all the work that follows it, you know, with the police and the insurance and stuff like that. So definitely not a fun experience. Thankfully I had insurance. So now I can begin working on finding a replacement to my car.